So there's actually a fairly good reason why the wild technique can feel so difficult. Um, and it's probably not what you're thinking. So when you first learn the wild technique, you learn that you need to like keep your mind awake while your body falls asleep. You may have heard that you'll go through sleep paralysis and sort of get in the middle of that process and then move on to lucid dreaming. And that's, that is true. Um, but I think the most important thing people miss is that when you're doing the wild technique and you know we're referring to the wake induced lucid dream method um what you're actually doing is you're you're attempting to keep your mind awake while your body falls asleep now in doing that what you what you're what you're trying to accomplish is you're going to be needing to focus on keeping yourself awake now that's not that easy to do especially if you've never meditated or done any sort of awareness or focusing exercises in waking life in fact it's going to be very difficult to do that um, if you've never meditated, or if you only meditate, say, once every couple of weeks or once every month, it's going to be very hard for you to then focus and keep your attention on one thing until you fall asleep. And, you know, to do this, you need to be able to focus on that uh, for anywhere from 10 to 45 minutes, depending on how long it takes you to fall asleep. Um, so what I found is that when I meditate twice a day, and when I meditate first thing in the morning and last thing at night, even if it's only for 5 or 10 minutes at a time, that makes it so much easier to do a wild uh, lucid dream, to, you know, to have a wild. It makes it so much easier to do that because I'm practicing focusing on that one thing. Um, or, you know, I'm practicing being able to stay conscious and alert while not actually drifting or letting myself be distracted by things. And that's your biggest danger when you're doing a wild is that you're distracted by your thoughts and then you end up just falling asleep and having a dream or, you know, not remembering any dreams, um, as the case is for many people. So it's very important to realize that if you're finding the wild method difficult, you're probably not meditating, or at least you're probably not meditating for long enough and often enough. So just try that, and that will, that will probably fix it for 90% of you. If you're finding the wild technique difficult, you're either, you haven't read the technique properly and you aren't following the right steps, or you're just simply not able to concentrate well enough, and so you're just falling asleep. Or you're doing the other side of the mistake, which is you are concentrating too aggressively and stopping yourself falling asleep. So just let's just reiterate this. The goal is to fall asleep with the wild method. That is your goal. But you need to keep your mind awake. Now, to do that requires the fine art of being focused on the act of keeping yourself awake without keeping yourself awake. Now, I know that especially if you're new to lucid dreaming, that probably sounds like a lot of nonsense to you. Like, I, I really am trying to find the best way of explaining it to you that you'll understand it, um, because it can sound a bit confusing. So think of it like this. If you're constantly focused so aggressively on, on keeping your mind awake, if, you're, if you focus on that too much, you're going to stop your body falling asleep. You need to be relaxed. You need to have all your muscles relaxed, you know, no tension in your body. You need to be laying there completely comfortable. And you need to have this loose focus in your mind on keeping your mind awake. Try to relax and calm yourself down and not focus too much on like, oh, I really need to stay awake with, you know, lots of energy into that intention. But try and sort of find the middle ground between not being distracted and just falling asleep and staying focused enough that you can keep your mind awake. Hopefully you sort of see what I'm saying with this. I mean, I probably could have explained it better, but I, you know, it's one of those things that I'm not very good at explaining this particular technique. So, but yeah, for the 90% of you, if you just meditate twice a day, that will ensure that you're much more likely to have a wild and it's much more likely to be successful for you. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you tomorrow. Done.